Today, we're taking a visit to Durham County to discuss the best television series you've never seen. Welcome back, Scream Addicts. It's been said often enough recently that we're currently experiencing a golden age of television. And if that's the case, then we're almost certainly experiencing a golden age of horror television as well. You know, I can't recall a time when we've had so many great genre shows to choose from. There was a recently canceled Hannibal, American Horror Story, The Walking Dead, Ash vs. the Evil Dead, Supernatural, Scream Queens, iZombie, Grimm, Teen Wolf, Penny Dreadful, The Strange, Scream, From Dust Till Dawn. We're spoiled for choices. But while all of those shows are well known and have their followings, there are inevitably some genre shows that fall through the cracks from time to time. Case in point, a little known Canadian TV series from a few years back called Durham County. While it's a stretch to call it outright horror, its tale of serial murder and burgeoning madness in a suburban setting is dark enough to be considered genre fan friendly, to this viewer anyway. Opening with a creepy sequence involving two underage girls seduced and then brutally slaughtered by a nomadic killer, Durham County concerns Mike Sweeney, a tough cop who's just relocated his wife and daughters from the big city to a small suburb in the hopes of starting over his life. His wife Audrey has just won about with cancer. His troubled teenage daughter Sadie resents the move even though she idolizes her father and wants to follow in his lawman footsteps. And his youngest daughter Maddie is... Peculiar. The first glimpse we catch of her, she's wearing this bizarre anime-style mask. It's, it's very strange. Anyway, all starts off well enough until Mike realizes that his next-door neighbor is one Ray Prager, played very well by Justin Lewis. Ray Prager is an old friend-slash-rival from high school, and things ended badly between he and Mike back in the day, with an apparent accident of Mike's doing having temporarily crippled Ray, costing him a professional sports career. Whether or not Ray still holds a serious grudge against Mike is hidden from our hero, at least initially. But that wouldn't be Ray's biggest secret. It seems he had happened across the murders taking place at the beginning of the pilot and had watched them carried out in secret. This ignited in Ray his own inner psychopath, leading him to trying on murder for himself, killing his son's teacher, Natalie Le in a rage during an argument. Ray didn't realize, though, that Miss LaCroix was in fact Mike's would-be mistress. As the series progresses, Mike begins to become convinced of the possibility that Ray may be a killer, even as Ray's bloodlust continues to grow. All of this occurring under this neighborhood's veneer of normality. Inevitably, things come to a head in the first season's finale as the two old nemeses go head-to-head -head one more time. With its strong acting and writing, Durham County is one of the best-kept secrets in genre television. It sadly only ran for three seasons and only made it to a smaller carrier here in the States, but the the entire series is available on DVD and is just waiting to be discovered. Hugh Dillon is great in the lead role, portraying a morally complex character who's obviously our hero, but a deeply flawed one at that. A tarnished cop with a heart of gold is a cliched trope to be certain, but Dillon's performance always keeps the character grounded and realistic. As Ray Prager, Justin Lewis is the series' standout. Having appeared in a Saw sequel in a sci-fi series, I wasn't really familiar with Lewis's work otherwise, but he's fantastic in this series, playing a multifaceted villain who is easy to hate, and yet who always feels sort of realistic. He's every bit as complex a character as the lead, and it's his journey from fast-talking suburbanite to vicious killer that keeps the first season absolutely riveting. Unfortunately, Lewis would not return as the character for the following seasons, but not to fret. Each season has its own main antagonist, and the baddies for seasons two and three, played by the great Michelle Forbes and Michael Nardone, are every bit as compelling as Ray Prager. And in the interest of not really spoiling a series I really, really want you to watch, I'll refrain from saying any more about those seasons. Tonally, Durham County shares a lot in common with the AMC show The Killing, with its moody feel and focus on characters in the midst of what should be a procedural. It also feels a little Lynchian at times. While there is nothing uh, really overtly supernatural or anything of the sort occurring, the notion of this dark underbelly hiding beneath a banal white picket exterior feels very blue velvet in Twin Peaks. Uh, to me, anyway. But honestly, this series is a gem, and it deserves its day in the sun. If smart, creepy television is your thing, well, one, we can be friends, and two, you're going to love Durham County. Just be sure to give it a chance. And thank you for giving us a chance. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, get at us on Facebook and Twitter. That's at Scream Addicts, and I am at Jinx1981. Folks, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.